This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning. The title of this video clip is Contemporary Issues in PBL. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, how is knowledge characterized in situated cognition theory? Number two, in your own words, describe the given characteristics for knowledge building theory. Number three, CISLE, CECL, knowledge form seems to be to provide a good environment for collaboration. What evidence is given for this? And number four, how does knowledge forum differ from the traditional LMS learning management system? Situated cognition takes the position that knowing is synonymous with doing. In other words, learning happens when the learner is engaged in doing something. A quote, all knowledge is, we believe, like language. It constituent parts index the world and so are inextricably a product of the activity and situations in which they are produced. A concept, for example, will continually evolve with each new occasion of use because new situations negotiate, we believe, like language. It constituent parts index the world and so are inextricably a product of the activity and situations in which they are produced. A concept, for example, will continually evolve with each new occasion of use because new situations, negotiations, and activities inevitably recast it in a new, more densely textured form. So a concept, like the meaning of a word, is always under construction. This would also appear to be true of apparently well-defined, abstract, technical concepts. Even though these are not wholly definable and defy categorical description, part of their meaning is always inherited from the context of use." Unquote. And that quote is taken from Brown, Collins, and Duguid, Situated Cognition and the Culture of Learning. Rather than focusing on the theoretical elements of situated cognition, I thought we might take a look at a related theory and a computer-based learning environment that is designed around the theory. The theory is referred to as knowledge building and the environment was originally known as Computer Supported Intentional Learning Environment or CECL and has morphed into a commercial version named Knowledge Forum. We have a browser-based implementation of the software available at UIT that I refer to as WebKF, Web Knowledge Forum. We will focus on uh, for a few moments on the concepts addressed by knowledge building theory. The following description of knowledge building theory is taken from Bereiter and Scardamalia 2003, Powerful Learning Environments Unraveling Basic Components and Dimensions, and Scardamalia and Bereiter 2003, uh, Knowledge Building Environments Extending the Limits of the Possible in Education and Knowledge Work. Scardamalia and Bereiter define knowledge building as the, quote, creation of and improvement of ideas that have a life out in the world where they are subject to social processes of evaluation, revision, and application." Unquote. Note the similarity of concepts with other theories that have been examined in this course as well as the differences in processing. Breiter and Scardamalia in 2003 state that the following principles underlying knowledge building should be noted, and all of these principles will be quoted directly from that paper in 2003. So the first principle is, a focus on idea improvement. Students are encouraged to put forth their own ideas early and then they are expected to work together on improving those ideas in every way possible. The second principle is problems versus questions. Although problems are often expressed as questions, we have found that pursuing solutions to problems rather than answers to questions best encourages knowledge building. Answers have a certain finality to them whereas problem solutions are generally continually improvable. Whereas comparing answers to questions put students into the belief mode, solutions to problems, including solutions to knowledge problems, can be carried out in design mode, judging what different solutions do and do not accomplish, um, what new problems a solution raises and what problems need to be solved in order to progress in solving the main problem. Knowledge building pedagogy differs from problem-based learning in that preferred problems are the ones of considerable generality. The next principle is knowledge of value to the community. 
In knowledge building, conceptual artifacts themselves, developed ideas, are an important product used by community members, primarily as tools that enable further knowledge advances. Thus, the progressive character of modern sciences and disciplines is also characteristic of knowledge building pedagogy. The next principle is emergent goals and products. Students in knowledge building classrooms typically produce tangible or visible products, reports, multimedia presentations, playlets, demonstrations, but these are not predetermined and made the ultimate objective of a project. They may emerge at any point in the iterative knowledge building process. They may take various forms and serve various purposes, from highlighting a problem to disseminating results. It is important to note, however, that in many instances, there is no tangible product other than the computer record of the online work that was done in achieving the knowledge advances. The final principle is constructive use of authoritative sources. In a knowledge building design mode, all ideas are treated as improvable. Ideas that have been the result of extensive work and development are treated with respect and judged according to whether they, what they can contribute to the group's current problem-solving effort. This does not eliminate problems of truth or validity, but it puts them in a context where they can be dealt with along with other difficulties. One does not expect to achieve perfect understanding any more than one expects to produce the perfect computer. One only expects to improve on the present state of things." Unquote. Finally, Scardamalia and Breiter, 2003, proposed that a minimal definition for a knowledge building environment what they refer to as a KBE, would be, quote, any environment, virtual or otherwise, that enhances collaborative efforts to create and continually improve ideas, unquote. In order to provide an example of uh, a KBE described by the principles of Scardamalia and uh, Breiter, um, I'm going to refer to Cecil or Knowledge Forum. I've used Knowledge Forum, or WebKF, as I refer to it, for several years, including as support for teachers in a, uh, an action research project that I conducted for my PhD thesis and in many courses since. I've used WebKF as it was developed as a collaborative knowledge building environment, uh, as described in Brighter and Scardamalia 2004. And these developers state that, quote, instead of producing a string of messages, participants in WebKF produce an evolving multimedia uh, hypertext that objectifies the knowledge that is being built." Unquote. The participants are able to engage in discourse that simulates that of the working face-to-face -face meeting. The resulting messages reflect the collaborative affordances available within the application. Most of the participants in my thesis project entered into the WebKF environment and posted at least one message. Many of the teachers involved in the project became immersed in the environment such that it took on the look and feel of an extension to team meetings. There was one important difference from the regular team meetings, though, in that all teachers from both teams, even while they were physically separated, were able to interact with each other in WebKF. So in other words, it took on an asynchronous kind of a feel that was an extension uh, an asynchronous extension to the actual team meetings themselves. While the combined team meeting face-to-face -face format was not completely successful, successful as meetings uh, became solely a venue for recounting experiences as compared to the critical type of exchange that occurred within the specific team meetings rather than the combined format, the combining of teams in WebKF rose above the normal level of course discourse and enhanced it in several ways. There were several instances where team members from one team interacted in pro prolonged discussions with members from the other team. The teachers also seemed to appreciate the opportunity within WebKF to reflect using a written word mode of discourse rather than the audio mode used in regular meetings. This afforded the teachers time to think rather than to just respond. In my estimation, the addition of WebKF to the arsenal of tools available to the teachers engaging in action research, which was the focus of the particular project, was successful. However, further study, study should be carried out in order to determine how to best integrate and promote this type of application into action research projects. And that is taken from Venno, Spain, 2005.
quoted from Learning in Motion 2011 product page. Um, we have a description of Knowledge Forum, and there is a, uh, a version of a WebKF note that is posted on your, your screen at this point in this slide. Knowledge Forum, then, as quoted from uh, Learning in Motion, the commercial uh, producers of WebKF, Knowledge Forum server is implemented for Windows, Mac, and Linux platforms, while the latest version, KF 4.8, has a client written as a hybrid of Java applet and web pages. KF can be used as an e-learning system or as an in-class technology. For each class and course, there is a database individually assigned for each entity. The main feature of the product is called a note, as illustrated on the screen. With notes, users can do the following. Offer various um, options for finding for existing notes. Write a new note. Co-author when more users sh share the authorship for the same note. Reference and quote an existing note. Annotate allows users to comment on an existing note without creating a new one. Reply, uh, that is a build on, um, on a specific, uh, specific note. And rise above notes which subsume sets of related notes. The main technique that KF uses is called scaffolding. And this is a reference to Scardamalia 2004. Learners use a specific set of scaffolds that directs others towards cognitive operations that will help them to improve their understanding. The basic set of scaffolds in, um, is the following one, and it's shown on the screen as well on the, in the left-hand window of the, uh, the new note. Um, and it's got uh, several different components to it, including my theory, I need to understand new information, this theory cannot explain, a better theory, and putting our knowledge together. And basically what happens is that when you click on these particular scaffolds, they um, in turn put tags into the actual text itself in the right-hand window, so they allow the reader to have a better understanding as to what the writer, uh, the originator of the new note, is trying to convey. Uh, so it's pu putting these um, HTML tags around it. Software features that are included from um, Knowledge Forum it has some basic components that all learning management systems or LMSs have. Um, it has facilities for posting messages, searching for notes, uploading documents, and online assignments. However, KF is not a typical LMS. Some features such as gradebook, live chat, student information, and the integration into a larger network of users are not implemented. KF is not committed to be a traditional LMS. According to its purposes, KF is grounded on knowledge building theory. The software helps students in their effort to acquire new meaning and nurture knowledge building communities. In consequence, Knowledge Forum requires that learners and instructors take an approach in accordance with knowledge building theory. For knowledge building theory, um, further access to these ideas, please read the following paper, Scardamalia and Breiter, 2006, Knowledge Building, Theory, Pedagogy, and Technology. And the URL will be available in WebCT. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Compare and contrast situated cognition to the theories previously discussed in this course. Number two, compare and contrast knowledge building theory to the theories previously discussed in this course.